Hello everyone, I am back. This is Monarch Mom DIY and I am back with my next Traveler's Notebook tutorial. You have asked for a B6, which is a five by seven. The sample I showed was this floral one. So this measures, the inserts are, like I said, five inches by seven inches. And so the cover um, gives a little bit extra so that the edge is protected of your booklets. Um, I did also mention <clears throat> that actually I had said this was during back to school time but I think it's more getting ready for the first of the year. You can find at Dollar Tree um, 5x7 size. This is a weekly dated planner for only a dollar. It's a really uh, good value. However, the pages are pretty thin. So I'm going to, as we go, I'm going to talk to you about some alternatives. Um, but I was really excited. I found at Michael's in their 99 cent bins, some notebooks that are five by seven. So what I did, I noticed that some were blank, some had lines, and some were the dot, like for a bullet journal. Um, so I tried to find three different ones that kind of coordinated together. And um, I'll just show you here. Okay, and the, the great thing about these is that they are stitched down the middle. This is just more secure than stapled. Okay, so this is like a dotted, like a bullet journal. This one says notes and it's just blank. And then this one with the palm leaves should be lined. Yes. So what I'm going to show you, I told you I would show you the next size. So this is going to be a B6 for five by seven inserts. It will still have four elastics. We'll put these three notebooks and then I'm also going to show you how to make a pocket folder. So in this one, this is the pocket folder. Okay, so it's just got the two little pockets on the side. It is laminated. You don't have to laminate it, but um, we will laminate that. So that will be your four strands. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I went through my stash and tried to find um, some paper that kind of matched these colors and the theme. Um, this is from a photo play is the brand scrapbook kit. So they are double sided papers. Had a lot of greens. Um, I really like this for the outside. So this, I think this pack is called Paprika by photo play. I love the llamas and the camels and the peacocks. So cute. Um, you could do that on the outside, but I thought I would keep those on the inside just for some interest. I love the variety of colors here. So this is going to be our cover. And then this paper was also in that pack is going to be our folder. So you've got the feathers on one side and like this little garland. So I think the feathers will be the outside of the folder and then the garland will be the inside. So here we go. I'm going to um, speed this up a little bit and do voiceover. I will also, as promised, show you at the end of this video how I make the pen clips. I don't have one on here. I must have taken it off. But you've seen those in other um, videos. So I will show you that at the end of this video. So let's get started. The piece that we're using for the cover measures 12 inches by seven and a half inches. I'm going to put it in and score it at five and a half inches, six inches, and six and a half inches. Six inches will be the middle score and then a half inch on either side. This will help me know where to punch the holes. Next, I'm taking my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and I'm going to round the corners with the half inch corner round. 
Now because this piece of cardstock measures 12 inches, you cannot use a standard size laminating sleeve. I am using a legal size, which is eight and a half by 14 inches so that I can have the wider traveler's notebook cover. I usually go ahead and send the cover through twice just to make sure it is sealed all the way around. Now I'm going to line up the edge of the cardstock on the white edge of my trimmer and trim the excess lamination off. This gives about an eighth of an inch border of lamination around the cover. Since my cover is seven and a half inches tall, I'm going to find the middle point on my middle score line at three and three quarters inches. This is where I will punch my middle hole for the elastic that will go around the entire TN and keep it closed. And here I'm using my one eighth inch hole punch and I'm punching three holes at the top of my TN and three holes at the bottom. I'm going in about a quarter of an inch on each of my three score lines. Then here I'm using my big punch for that middle hole. So next we'll make our folder. This paper measures 12 inches across by 10 and three quarters inches tall. On the shorter side, I am scoring it at seven inches. On the 12 inch side, I'm measuring it right in the middle at six inches and then a half inch in on either end. Folding it in half, now we're going to cut a small triangle that will give us some space where the flaps will fold up on the bottom. So here you see between the bottom and the score line, I did it seven inches. On the fold, I'm going to cut a triangle. And now you'll see what it looks like when I open it. And this is where the bottom of the two pockets will fold up. I'm also going to cut out the half inch space on the bottom of each folder. You'll see it better when I open it back up. So there you go, those little notches are also cut out. You're gonna see me make a little mistake here. Do not put glue on the little flaps at the bottom that fold up. It's not necessary. The only thing you need to put glue on is the half inch flap that's on the top left and the top right. So don't do what you see me doing right now. Just fold that flap of paper up and then put glue on the half inch fold and flap it over. That will hold the pocket sufficiently. You don't need that glue that I put at first. That will only make your pocket be able to open less. Okay, so while the pocket folder is drying, we will put our elastic on our cover here. And I'm keeping this in real time so I can talk you through it. The elastic goes through the bottom right hole on the inside of the cover and then straight up to the top. On the outside, you're gonna go over one hole to the left to the middle top hole. 
and then come on the inside of the cover straight down to the middle bottom hole. Then on the outside, you will go another hole over to the left to the bottom left hole. On the inside of the cover, you'll go straight up to the top left hole. All right, turn it over and on the outside, now you're gonna go back to that middle hole. You'll see me doing a little adjusting here because I ended up with a little too much excess. So I'm just working the elastic back a little bit, making sure it's taut but not too tight. You don't want it to bend your cover inwards. All right, I'm just gonna measure about how much I would need to meet that other one in the middle. Give it a little snip. And at the bottom on the outside, I'm gonna go back to that middle hole as well and tie those two pieces to make our fourth elastic. Okay, now we just need one more piece about 12 inches long. I'm gonna fold it in half and tie a knot. I'm gonna feed it through that middle hole from the inside to the outside and then measure how well it fits around the closed traveler's notebook. Okay, so now we can go ahead and put our three notebooks into our cover. Okay, now that our folder is dry, we'll go ahead and send it through the laminator. Now because we folded it in, it's only 11 inches wide, so we can just use a standard letter size laminating sleeve. I really love the idea of having these pocket folders for putting receipts in. Um, you can keep other little notes that you get at meetings and things like that until you can put them where they need to go. They're just a great versatile item to have in your traveler's notebook. So I didn't make you watch, but I did send the folder through twice, especially because of the double thickness um, where the pocket folds up and where the two sides fold in on the sides of the pocket. 
And just like I did with the cover, I'm trimming around the edges of the folder so that there's about an eighth inch of lamination all the way around so it doesn't peel off. Now, to cut my pockets open, I'm taking a clear ruler and um, an X-Acto knife and gently cutting right on that edge where the pocket is. You can see I'm kind of using it to make sure the pocket is all the way open. If you find when you do this that some of the lamination um, is not sealed all of the way, you can just send your folder back through the laminator. It's no problem and it'll just seal down those loose edges. You do wanna make sure you do this gently though and don't press too hard because you will cut through the um, front cover of your folder. And now you can add your folder to your fourth elastic inside your cover. Okay, as promised, this is the tutorial of how I make my elastic pen clips with binder clips. I normally use E6000, but I was out, so I'm using a different tacky glue that is good for paper and metal. The first thing I'm doing with my elastic is just um, gluing a little edge over to make it a flat edge that I will then glue to the binder clip. But while that is drying, I am going to use the binder clip to hold it closed until it is dry. I will say that I will make usually um, multiples of these pen clips all at the same time because each step does take a little while to completely dry before you can move on to the next step. Now that my straight edge is dry, I'm going to put a little of the tacky glue on my binder clip and I'm going to attach that straight folded over edge that I made. I'm gonna hold it there for a minute and then I'm going to use the metal part of the clip to hold it in place until it is dry. Okay, once that is dry, I'm going to hold my pen up and wrap it, wrap the elastic around the pen, measure it to the end of the black of the binder clip and go ahead and cut it. And then I'm going to fold over and glue the other end of my elastic, hold it secure with the binder clip until it is dry. And once that end is dry, the last step is to glue it to the other side of the binder clip. And again, hold it in place by bending back the metal prong. And the finished binder clip pen loop can be attached anywhere you'd like in your traveler's notebook. 
All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Let me know which size you're interested in next. And if there's any other specific inserts you'd like to see, I am planning on opening an Etsy shop soon to sell my traveler's notebooks. Take care and I'll see you soon.